Hey folks, it's uh, me once again, uh, as going by my screen name, Ham on Kumon, or you can just call me Carl, by my real name. Alright, uh, well today's video is going to be yet another video about uh, the gun. I'm going to compare two of my guns uh, for, uh, I used to say, fighting purposes, how you have a B gun battle. I'm going to show which one is better for which purpose, or just in general, how you know, how good one is or the other. So uh, let's begin. Uh, my guns for today, first we'll start off with the Smith & Wesson handgun. It's a uh, Smith & Wesson. Uh, I'm not sure the model of it, um, but it holds uh, 13 rounds. Um, it's a spring gun, so you have to trigger the back. Uh, for some reason, maybe it's this gun itself. My gun. The uh, safety, for some reason, does not work. So, yeah, we'll forget about that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the uh, aim, as you can see, it's uh, somewhat alright. You know, we got this little thing over here. First, you look in there. Then you uh, line, line that up with uh, this one over here. And, uh, I don't know if you can see this whole white dot, you line that up with that white, uh, spec. And, uh, yeah, it's about, I would say, 300 FPS. Accuracy is eh, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's just an all-right FPS feet per second, if you know what that means. Alright, let's go on to the second one. The second one is a modeled N16. It's uh, by the company Pulse R73. M16 has a slang scope. And this scope is, gives it a much more greater aim. It has a pretty good accuracy. Usually on an M16, you know, you'd have a, some little thing over here. You'd look uh, down the middle of the circle and you'd align it with this. However, with the scope, you don't really have to do that. You just have to picture of the middle of the scope there's actually oh wait I'm sorry I forgot I was wrong you actually do look through it and you do align it with this black dot over here as you can see now uh there's one thing about this gun a few things that differ from the Smith and Wesson greatly first thing it's a uh, fully automatic EG it doesn't go semi-automatic it's fully automatic you want to make it, don't know why, assholes, I don't know, but uh, safety on this gun does work, it's over here actually, it holds 500 rounds, so uh, pretty impressive, this right here actually, as we would think for M16, this is not the magazine, this is actually the battery, the BBs are held in here, it's cool, genius design, however, I think as I said, it's 225 FPS, so not too fast. It's accurate. It's accurate. You know what? It, it will, it won't swerve off like the Smith and Wesson does occasionally. This will hit it. I ain't actually probably But uh, yeah, 225 FPS. You know, that small, but you know what? It's, it's fun to play with. So uh, all right. Um, as you can see, it it might be a little bit tough. I set up. Um, six cans per gun. Uh, we're going to use all the ammunition that's in one magazine. Obviously, M16 has, you know, a lot more than the Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson only 13. So, there's six cans per gun, and we will hit them one, two, it'll be like, there's four, there's four in the front line. So, we're going to hit one, two, then We'll hit another six, and we'll switch the gun, and yeah. So, um, figure for today's entertainment, we also have a little music, if you're interested. Uh, I'm probably gonna do some, uh, rock, personally my favorite is rap, but, um, I figured rock music goes, uh, better with, uh, the whole, uh, gun theme. It's more, uh, yeah. So, uh, we'll start 
start off with Boys on the Dock by Dropkick Murphys. Then we'll go on and see what happens next. Uh, here we go. Uh, putting on the music. Getting a little loud. Alright. Let's go. We'll start with the Smith and Wesson. I need to talk to you about it. Go. Uh, check the angle. Yep. Good. Here we go. So that was the six hands. Uh, I shot one extra shot by mistake, and I see. But uh, let's see if we have to do that the other one. And we'll also do that one more left. So we shot down those six hands. We have no more, so. Yeah, that's uh, 12 shots right there. That's pretty a lot. Good. I just shot the last round by mistake. Now it's time for the N16. And uh, we have the six hands over there. We'll try to see how many shots, but I'm sure we all manage to cut. Okay, so going around. Now the song might change very well. say that was M16, it's a little bit blurry, but you can see the black mark, so, you know, not too bad. So overall, we had 9 shots of M16, Smith & Wesson was uh, 12 shots, and uh, not much of a difference. Now, I'll tell you one thing about the whole battling aspect, M16 is definitely great in battle situations, you know, in the far range. I mean, let's say you have a full-length swimming pool, right? It'd be great for that, like, great. You know, it's like one side you're on, other side your friend's on. You know, it's like a great sniping tool for, like, that type of distance. However, if you're in a more short-range battle, we're talking about maybe, if you're talking about, like, a 20-foot, you know, 20-foot across, 20-foot wide, right? Something like that. Probably the Smith & Wesson, only because... I'd say the Smith & Wesson is a lot easier to carry around. Sure, it's spring, so it does give up your position because you have pocket back and you can do that. So, you know, tell that to me to get the fuck out. But it's a lot easier to carry. You know, you can run much more easily. And um, overall, overall, obviously, I'm going to say that M16 is my more favorite gun. That is because I know it's AEGs, it's fully auto, you know, I wish it was something, but you know, you don't have to pop it back. But definitely in short range battles, Smith and Wesson. Long range, that's 
Well, folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's entertainment. Um, so I'll be posting more videos, uh, TV on videos, uh, shortly. Um, remember, do not point these guns at animal birds, which will do, but I'm not going to say, you know, I've done my shit or something. But, you know, if you have battles, if you have battles, key thing, wear, not class like these, but wear something that protects your whole eyes, because you don't want one of these in your eyes. And I'll tell you, I had a pretty scary experience where someone shot me right here in this victim, pretty close to my eye, pretty close to my people. So, I hope you enjoyed, I will see you next time, stay place in my dad's porch, and uh, yeah, see you guys later.